Hey everyone, just wanted to share with you another little part of the snowball, project snowball build up here. Um, here we've got a Carter knockoff and we have the factory Carter lift pump. So these are piston driven 12 valve lift pumps. Um, obviously they're driven off the cam there. Um, and with, with everything that we do, we usually tear it down to figure out how it works and whether or not we can make it better or, and in some cases, unfortunately, how we can destroy it while trying to make it better. Um, so anyway, I'm just gonna set that guy back there for right now. What we've got here is we went through and we analyzed the pump, um, both of them to see kind of where the weaknesses are. Um, right off the bat, you can tell that this aftermarket one has got a smaller fuel inlet hole here. So that's where the fuel comes in. Um, I'm sorry, this is where the fuel comes in and this is where the fuel comes out. So this is the fuel outlet. Um, and you have to be careful. I won't be able to get this in there. So we, as we started analyzing this, we're, we do try to be careful not to ruin anything. You can see that hole right down there, just above the, the actuator rod on it. Um, you can see that that guy is very close to that seal. And it's very close, let's see if we can get it to focus, it's very close to the lip that holds all of the guts, the plunger and everything on this side. So we went ahead, we analyzed that, we realized that we can't really go larger in diameter. We can take that those casting flaws that you see off there, um, but what you can do is you can go laterally on it. So we're gonna open that passage up just a little bit laterally to try to encourage some flow and then we moved upstream from there. And as you can see, we took this, this is the fuel outlet side. Um, it's M14 1.5 is the thread pitch that we found on it. And we went ahead and opened that up. You could probably also bore this out and do 3 8 NPT. It's just a little bit larger and would give you just a full half inch flow out of this. Um, you do have to remember you have a check valve in here to keep the fuel from just being sucked right back in there. So we very carefully tapped that out and then we drilled, we drilled this guy to half inch without boogering up our threads. So we carefully did that. Um, this is a Russell 8AN to M14 1.5. And we're also gonna enlarge that because you can see that they didn't do a super great job on the amount of flow that you get. Uh, we've got some Chinese fittings that if I were able to, you know what, let me, I'm gonna pause this real quick and uh, grab that uh, Chinese fitting. Okay, so we're continuing on. This is the Russell that I have here. I'm gonna set it down and I'm gonna grab the Chinese eBay fitting here. Um, this side we didn't mill out at all and when you compare these two, you can see the difference in flow there. So on this Russell, we have painstakingly made sure that this fuel system has as few restriction as possible and we are going to drill that Russell or mill it out so that that's not a problem for us. So that's the outlet side of it and I brought back, after I paused this thing, I brought back over the inlet side so you could kind of see what's going on. I didn't intend on going this deep. Um, so here's the inlet, it's got a fuel, a little strainer on this side, a little fuel filter. Um, and here's where the interesting stuff happens. Okay, so this is the actual plunger that your cam is actuating. Um, let's see if we can get that. And you can see that it's got a one-way valve in there just like it does on the top side so that it, you know, it's gotta have something to pump against. And then it's got these spots that are bored out. And we looked at this and this is actually a little larger. This is the knockoff. This is actually heavier than the factory one, which we didn't love but it's also got the, the fuel inlets here on the piston side of it. They're bored out a little bit larger than the factory ones already. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that alone. Um, although we would love to lighten it up some, but that is what it is. So that's kind of a rundown of, the, of how to take a Carter 12 valve lift pump and address some of the inefficiencies that you might find and just our solutions of what we have done in order to try to get better flow out of them. I'm gonna pause it one last time and show you the factory line 
in comparison to this here. So you can just gotta, you can get a feel for what we're going from uh, in terms of line to what we're going to. All right, so we're back again. I went over and I grabbed one of the factory outlet lines for the 12 valve. This would normally go up and into the fuel canister. Um, again, M14, it's got a little brass ferrule fitting on there. So we're gonna pipe dope this thing um, or hit it with uh, probably pipe dope really because we've got some good Loctite pipe dope um, that's rated for diesel use. Um, but So here's what you're going. This is what stock is right here. And get zoomed in on that so that's stock and then this is the Russell uh, let's get a zoom in okay so that's the Russell and then this is basically the Chinese 8an fitting so let me see if I can get I don't think I can get all three of those but let me get let me get this just as a side-by-side -side comparison here so here you go, for just a little side by side, what we're going from and what we're going to. Anyway, hope that helps out any of you guys that are trying to squeeze a little extra fuel flow out of your stock Carter pumps. Again, be careful, make sure that these go back clean. Um, you don't want anything, this is unfiltered going. If you're running inline filters like we are, there won't be another filter after your pump here. So uh, be sure to take extreme care with it. All right, take care.